Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I made these edible image uh, Spider-Man Oreo cookie pops. Alright guys, here are the things you're going to need. Some mega or double stuffed Oreos, a candy melter, a foam or anything to hold your lollipop sticks in, an offset spatula and I'll show you later what you'll need that for, some red candy melts, some lollipop sticks, anything pointy to help you with your design, some black royal icing, and of course your edible images. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, I forgot to mention that you will need some scissors and um, that's to cut out your um, little tattoo or I don't know what you call this, an edible image. Uh, you will have to um, kind of trim off some pieces here so it could fit on your cookie. Uh, that way it'll fit nicely there. Uh, I just suggest on the ones that have the Spider-Man uh, pictures on there to just uh, trim around it and don't leave a big circle on there. Um, it makes them look really nice. I really love these uh, images. Uh, they almost look like if you cut out a, a piece of um, of a comic book and uh, put the little pictures on there. Uh, they almost look like they're drawn on there. It's really, really neat. This is not the first time I've used these. I used to buy these at Walmart, but they stopped selling them, so I had to get them from Amazon. And they come in a package of 12, two sheets of these. Uh, do leave these uh, in the packet while you're not using them because they will dry out. Okay, so the first thing you'll do is just go ahead and dip about half an inch to an inch of your stick into the candy melt and serve it into your Oreo cookie. And then make sure that it's um, about halfway in there. And then we're going to go ahead and let that set and dry. So I have another one here that's already been uh, dried. So we can move this on. My video doesn't get too long. We're going to go ahead and dip that into the candy melts. Now I do a double, um, a double dip on these one at a time. I will do one first and let that dry. And then I will go ahead and um, dip it a second time. I like my cookies to be nice and smooth. I don't like um, all these uh, little designs and the logo to show. So I like to dip them once, let them dry. And if you've seen my other two videos, I mentioned that um, we're going to set this one here. I mentioned that I like my cookies to have a nice smooth edge uh, there to make it look like a hockey puck. Uh, I don't like uh, these uh, indentations like that dip in there, that little channel there. I don't like that so I cover it up so that it'll be nice and smooth. And that's where the offset spatula or any other a knife can, can do as well. And what I do is um, I have one that already dried up. And I just go ahead and, and add some of this candy into the little uh, the channel there, the gap. And I like to refer this as like adding a, or putting a cement between two bricks. You just are going to uh, fill that in just so it could um, be nice and smooth. And don't worry about this excess candy on the edges on the sides, just smooth it out uh, because remember we're going to cover it a second time so that's going to be completely eliminated, you won't even see it. So that's what I like to do, just fill that in like that and then I'll let that dry so I'm going to set that aside, I don't think it's, here. it's not in the way and moving right along, so I'll put that to set and uh, it should end up like this if I can get that in the shot. Nice and smooth. And I know it lo doesn't look smooth from the sides, but we're going to go ahead and dip it a second time. And now you can tap it. I know there's different methods of doing that. Um, I like to twist mine like this. It takes off the candy really quickly. But you can do whatever you like. So we're going to get rid of a lot of that excess candy that way we don't have a really thick uh, candy coating unless you like a lot of this uh, candy on there you can go ahead and 
and put as much as you want. Just that'll just that'll waste a lot of your candy too. So you want to keep it nice and nice and thin and average. So as you see there, you don't see the logo anymore. You don't see a lot of these bumps. See, this was what you would get if you only do it once. So that's what I'm trying to eliminate there, those, um, all those little ridges and the logo and all that. You want to get it nice and smooth. Okay, so we're going to uh, work quickly because we don't want um, our cookie to dry. So once we've dipped it the second time, we're going to go ahead and add the, the edible image onto the wet, I was going to say icing, but it's just the candy melt. So we're going to just put it on top there and you're just going to use your tool or anything else that you like to use to just kind of push those little all the little edges in make sure that it gets uh, soaked up in there with that candy and you can just go ahead and touch the center a little bit and there you go so now you can go ahead and let this one completely set and dry I'm going to show you the other image so you can get an idea of how that one looks. Okay, so here I have another um, one that's going to start to dry. So really quickly, just go ahead and like I said, cut out all the little edges. Don't keep it so round. That way um, it doesn't cover all your cookie and you just want the Spider-Man image on there. And then of course this will look a lot nicer once you put your little webs on there and that is it so now we can set these down to dry all right guys now to pipe what i did here was i just piped the the raw icing on each of the peaks from the web as you see here um i'll have one peak there so i'll just pretty much we'll just do a web design around it just to um, cover this so it won't be so empty and it'll look like this when you're done so um so each one of the peaks will have a line and then just go ahead and do the the web which is just little hills that'll connect to each of the lines and you'll do um, three lines around and um, it'll just look like that For these, as you see here, we have a lot of empty space there, so we're going to try to cover that and, and give it the web design all the way to the top here. It's okay if you go a little bit onto the picture, that'll be fine. And so what I did is just um, went and did some, some um, stripes down the side of the cookie like I did the other one, and I spaced them about the size of maybe your pinky just give it some space like that and then just go ahead and do the same exact thing with your webbing design just go up and up and connect up and connect so we're going to do the lines on the sides this one gave me two lines and what I did is I just went above if I have enough space to go on the top I'll just go ahead and do the top part there like that and then just keep going all around all right guys so give these a couple hours for the icing to dry you can leave them overnight that would be ideal then you can package them in some little cellophane bags all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video i thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more and i will talk to you soon have a good one guys